All right, let's talk about widgets. So basically widgets are small containers of content. So on the right sidebar, we have these widgets. So this uh, search bar is a widget. This section of recent posts is a widget as well. And all these other sections are widgets. So basically we have one, two, three, four, five, six widgets. So to change them, to edit them, to add some different widgets, we should go to our dashboard and we would have to go right here in appearance section and we would have to select widgets so what widgets you should display okay let's go back to our home page and i believe we could add like social media widgets so our visitors could find us on social media like Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter or any other social profile. We could also add a form where our visitors could subscribe to our newsletter. As well, we could add some content widget where we would display our most popular blog posts. So to do this, let's go back to our dashboard and we would have to go to widget section. But first of all, before we start doing some changes to widget section, I would like to install one plugin. Once we install a social media plugin we will be able to use it to add our social media profiles to widget section and we will be able to add share buttons in our blog posts so let's say our visitors could share certain blog posts on their Facebook Twitter LinkedIn or Pinterest so this plugin is called sassy social share just enter it in the search bar and this is the plugin we have to install. Just click install. Once the installation is complete, activate it. And as you can see, this plugin was added to our WordPress panel. So we can do some changes to this plugin. Once you click right here, sassy social share. All right, we can change how our icons is going to be displayed. We can change it to square. I just want to show you the most important settings. We can disable floating sharing interface because otherwise we will have social share buttons on the side of our blog. So it's up to you if you want, you can use them. You can test everything yourself, but I'm just going to show you the most important settings. So I'm just gonna disable this one. And in standard interface, we can select what type of social share buttons we want to add. So I'm just gonna keep uh, the most popular ones. So Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest. I guess I'm gonna keep Reddit in this section, check this box because these share buttons will be shown at the top of our content and in the bottom of our content. Next thing which you can do is go to placement section and uncheck pages because we don't really need to show share buttons in our pages such as contact us, privacy policy, terms of use. It wouldn't look good and it wouldn't do any help for us. So yeah, these are the most important settings. Once you have finished, just click save. So before we start adding our social profiles to widgets, let's go and check how our blog posts look now. All right, let's click on the blog post. And as you can see, we have share buttons and it's called spread the love. Of course, you can change this section if you want by going back to sassy social share settings. And right here, you should find them spread the love. If you want, you can change it and hit save. Okay, it's time to add our social profiles to widgets. Let's go to widget section. And as you can see, this is our sidebar. So in total, we have six different locations where we can display our widgets. All right, so let's start with the sidebar. Let's add our social media icons. And these are right here, sassy social share follow icons. So this widget was added once we installed this plugin. All right, so to add this, just click right here and select where you want to add it. Let's add it to sidebar. All right, we can set a title and give some text before widget content. So we can do this way. Next, we can change the icon shape. Let's change it to square. And all you have to do is just paste your URLs of your social media profiles. I'm just gonna add hashtags to show you how it's going to look. And once you have finished, don't forget to hit save. We can close this widget and we can move it to the top. All right, so I guess we don't need search because we have a search bar in our header. We can delete it. Recent posts, we can delete this one as well. So basically we don't need any of these widgets which were added by default, so we can remove them all. So the next widget which we can add, it could be subscribe to our newsletter. Uh, so we would have to use this widget, Ninja Forms. But before that, we have to create a form which will be used right here. So we should go to Ninja Forms dashboard. So this is the form which we are using in our contact us page. And uh, the form which we will be using for newsletter should be different. So we have to add new, click add new and select blank form. So you want to add email field and let's add a submit button. 
and all other settings we can leave as they are and click publish. Let's give a title to our form so we can call it newsletter and let's hit publish. Let's go back and now we can go back to appearance section let's select widgets and we can add ninja forms widget so we are going to add to sidebar let's click add and we will select newsletter form uh, with newsletter we can hide the title we don't really need to show the title and let's hit save all right so the next widget we, which we could add is this one bam popular recent tags comments so we can add this widget uh, this one came with our theme so yeah we can add this one as well yeah we can hit save so as you can see right here we have a lot of different widgets and it's completely up to you which you want to use let's say i'm gonna use image as well i will use this widget as uh, some type of ad i'm just gonna add an image and i will add a link so let's add to sidebar let's move the location and let's add an image so i'm gonna use this image which i created previously just gonna click add and i can add an url so once the visitor clicks on this image he will go to this link so it's up to you what type of link you would like to add in this case i'm not going to add any links so once you're done click save let's go back to our home page and let's see how it looks and as you can see this is how everything looks so we have a social media widget we have an image we have a newsletter subscription form and we have this image with our content so yeah this is how you add widgets so as i mentioned you before they are small blocks of content as well we can do some changes to pages and blog posts let's say we don't want to display these widgets when someone goes to our contact us page so to do this we would have to go to pages section and we would have to change page layout so we would have to select this option and we would have to click publish so yeah this is how you add widgets also i wanted to tell you where the emails are going to be shown once uh, let's say your visitor subscribes to your newsletter all right let's add an email and let's click submit let's go to our wordpress dashboard and all emails will be displayed right here in ninja forms when you click on submissions let's select a form newsletter and as you can see we have two submissions two email addresses so you can export these all email addresses and use them for your email marketing 